They decorate the centers of galaxies, destroy everything that comes too close to them, and according to some models, will also play a central role at the end of the universe. Without any doubt, black holes are among the most fascinating entities that exist in the gigantic expanse of the cosmos. For a long time, the existence of black holes did not go beyond a theoretical status. Even though researchers have revealed many basic characteristics of these imposing gravity monsters, that said, the most massive entities in the universe are also still accompanied by some unsolved mysteries. Among the most central questions that have always surrounded these objects is the following. What is actually inside a black hole? Together with you, we would like to take a closer look at this intriguing question and go in search of answers. Answers. Would you like to learn more about the fascinating formations and existing discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our videos. black holes. Basically, you might think that the question of what's hiding inside black holes seems almost trivial. Why don't the experts just send an unmanned space probe into the center of such a structure and go directly on the trail of this mystery? Well, this is because the unmanned spacecraft would not survive such an endeavor. And even if the probe succeeded to advance intact into the inside of a black hole, there would be no possibility for it to transmit the data collected there afterwards in the direction of Earth. The basic rule is that nothing can cross the event horizon of a black hole from the inside to the outside. No radiation, no information, and certainly no matter. But how does this central characteristic of black holes actually come about? It's because the immense mass of these objects is concentrated into an extremely small volume. How this incomparable compactness appears in reality becomes clear if we consider the following example. A theoretical black hole that would have the mass of our sun would have an event horizon whose diameter is just 4 miles. In comparison, the diameter of our host star is almost 9 million miles. As a result of this extreme compactness, such a strong gravity is generated in the immediate vicinity of black holes that it's not even possible for light to pass through the corresponding area or to leave it again. In the meantime, researchers assume that almost every galactic center is graced by a supermassive black hole with millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun. But if we now take a look at the active core of a galaxy, we see a radiantly bright structure there. But how is this possible? In reality, what appears to us in the visible range of light as an almost point-like structure is not the actual black hole, but a so-called quasar. The quasar's radiation emission, in turn, comes from the brightly shining accretion disk that surrounds the supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy. In astrophysics, the term accretion disk refers to a rotating disk around a central object that incessantly transports matter towards the center. Accretion disks around black holes can in turn heat up to millions of degrees, consequently releasing immense amounts of radiation. The cosmic fuel with which supermassive black holes are supplied in this way is mainly composed of dust and gas deposits that fill the surrounding space. In addition, however, black holes can also consume parts of nearby stars or even swallow entire celestial bodies. In addition, there is the possibility that two black holes might collide with each other and then merge to form an even more massive gravity monster. Galactic Vacuum Cleaners? In view of these characteristics, one could think that they are extremely dangerous formations, which devour everything completely that strays into their distinct proximity. The truth is, however, that black holes are comparatively bad at pulling material into their event horizons. This is partly because black holes are not attractive targets for other astronomical bodies except for their gravity. While the celestial bodies of the solar system are in a stable orbit around the central host star, most of a galaxy is also in a stable orbit around the black hole. In simple terms then, there is no physical reason that would cause a distant body to plummet toward the event horizon. This is because, despite all their devouring properties, black holes can only irretrievably incorporate that which comes too close 
close to them. If you like, they are more like cosmic Venus flytraps than galactic vacuum cleaners. If we were to replace the Sun in our local planetary system by a black hole of equal mass, our galactic neighborhood would be plunged into impenetrable darkness. But the celestial bodies would continue to move around the central structure at the same distance and speed as they do around the Sun in reality. But suppose an object were to plunge into the maw of a black hole and survive this event. What would it get to see in the mysterious interior of the gravity monster? Inside Black Holes after all the knowledge already gained about the characteristics of black holes, does the scientific community have an idea of what the conditions inside these exciting objects are like? If one follows Einstein's general theory of relativity and the corresponding explanations of Hawking and Penrose, that a so-called singularity prevails in the interior of black holes. In the world of astronomy, this means those places where gravity is so strong that the curvature of space-time diverges there, in simple terms, infinitely. The problem? As soon as we go to this point with infinitely high space curvature, the range of validity of the general relativity theory is exceeded. To understand how this central singularity of black holes actually works, we need a theory that combines the understanding of gravity with the behavior of matter on the smallest scales. And indeed, this model linking general relativity with quantum mechanics already has a name, so-called quantum gravity. However, the corresponding theory is still far from being a fully elaborated treatise. It is currently still in the middle of development. Until this technical milestone is reached, it's therefore worthwhile to return to the previous theories. According to Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, the central singularity of a black hole could possibly form the bridge to another universe, comparable to a wormhole. Such cosmic transitions could therefore enable travel to other universes or even time travel. However, without corresponding observations and experimental data, such theses have always remained in the realm of speculation. In truth, we do not even know whether such bridges or wormholes actually exist in the universe, or whether in principle they could have formed at all. However, the existence of black holes is now considered proven, and we can understand how they are formed, at least in the case of some representatives of these exciting objects. However, what really happens inside a black hole remains an unsolved mystery. The Hawking Radiation Finally, in today's video, we would like to take another look at a characteristic of black holes, which actually stands in contradiction to the other characteristics of these formations. Hawking radiation. Quantum theoretical considerations showed that every black hole also emits radiation. If we consider the basic characteristic that nothing can cross the event horizon of a black hole from the inside to the outside, we are obviously dealing with a paradox. Nevertheless, this process can be explained with plausible means. It's due to the interaction of particle and antiparticle pairs, where one of the particles falls into the center of the gravity monster, while the other manages to escape into the surrounding space. So this does not disprove the basic property of black holes. The object manages to emit particles without anything passing its event horizon from the inside to the outside. The energy supply for the Hawking radiation comes from the gravitational potential of the black hole itself. This means that the structure always loses a part of its own mass by the radiation. For the external observer, it seems as if the black hole would practically evaporate, or in other words, slowly but surely become smaller. If very small black holes existed at the Big Bang, the objects would have evaporated completely by now. The radiation emitted in the course of this process could therefore serve as characteristic evidence of such black holes. The problem? Such a radiation has not been detected so far. As we can see, black holes are still exciting and mysterious objects that are yet to be fully understood and deciphered. Whether we will one day succeed in solving all these mysteries is literally written in the stars. We're interested in your opinion. What are your thoughts on fascinating black holes? We're looking forward to your comments. Want to see more exciting videos about the biggest mysteries of the universe? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.